video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you just a few of some of the really great ways that science teachers are using quizzes in their classroom. So this is just 10 examples that we found that are really, really worthwhile and hopefully can light a little spark for you. So we're gonna start off here. I put a couple of the hotspot questions together and labeling questions so you can just really see how you can use images for science class. So this was a teacher who was using our hotspot question to pick all the different producers in a uh, food web. Along with simply like pointing you know, at animals and producers, the hotspot is also really great for any of our physics teachers or chemistry teachers who are identifying graphs or any other kind of like mathematical kind of things like that. And the next couple questions that I'm going to show you are teachers who've been using our new labeling question type. So this is, I mean, it's really, really easy to see how labeling would go with science. Take anything, a cell like this person did here. You could also use it for something like this, right? The water cycle. And I thought this was a creative use of the labeling too, because it wasn't just like, hey, label the mitochondria. It was like, hey, which order would things go in in order for like a density kind of experiment? So I think that was a really creative way to use the labeling. Besides the label and the hotspot, there's also this reorder question, which you can see is another great way to use our visuals. So this person here was saying, hey, put the frog cycle in order. And this person used reorder, not like just for pictures in a cycle, but it was obviously for chemistry in the periodic table and they're saying to put things in order for protons. So anything that's mathematical works really, really well with our reorder questions. And this last example here was great because not only did they have a in the sky video embedded right into the question, but it was a really easy way to show our matching question type. And so there's many, many other examples and many other question types, but I thought these 10 were really great to show in particular how you can use it with diagrams and matching and reordering and all the kind of visual aspects that go into science. So I'm hoping that this was able to show you what we can do at quizzes and what you can do with quizzes and light a little bit of a spark.